a legal challenge against Josh Frydenberg and Liberal MP Gladys Liu over Chinese language election signs could soon be before a full federal court panel of three judges because of its public significance. Chief Justice James Alsop today conceded the matter was of public importance and will consider whether the case requires a panel of judges when it returns on the 2nd of October. The signs used, the AEC's colours and in Mandarin advised, quote, the right way to vote on the green ballot paper, fill in one next to the candidate of the Liberal Party. Anthony Albanese says it's crucial. Electoral integrity is respected. The information uh, written in, in Ch China, Mandarin, uh, on those signs uh, quite clearly could be viewed to be misleading. That will be a matter for the courts, but we need to be very clear about our democracy. Our democracy needs to be cherished and not manipulated by a suggestion in any language whatsoever that in order to vote formal, uh, you need to vote in a particular way for a political party. The Electoral Commission, though, has previously advised the signs did not contradict their guidelines, with the colour purple having also been used by politicians previously, like Karen Phelps. Josh Frydenberg's rival for the seat of Kuyong, Oliver Yates, uh, who failed in the election, is leading this court action after failing to win the seat of Kuyong from Josh Frydenberg in May.